Welcome to NHL Draft Pros. All right, it's that time of the year, the World Junior Championships, and I'm always excited for this tournament, especially watching the draft-eligible players. And as you know, this crop of prospects for the 2023 NHL Draft is a special group. So we're going to take a look at some notable draft prospects in this video, and I've also included mostly new highlights. And as always, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button to help us grow. And if you want, follow us on Twitter at NHL Draft Pros. Okay, so let's start off with Team Canada here. And of course, the consensus number one prospect, Connor Bedard, will be at this tournament. And he's lived up to the hype. And having himself a season in the dub, leading the league in scoring with 64 points in 28 games, 27 goals, and 37 assists. Wow. And this is in his draft year. What a stud. As for his play at this World Juniors, can't wait to see what he does. Should be fun to watch. So his bread and butter, obviously, is his shot. And in this clip here, arrows on him. You're going to see that he's going to break down. He's going to use a D and just, oh, <laughs> what just happened? Gives a guy a little push at the end there. Got a little edge to him, too. So a little drag and just wires it top cheese. Unbelievable. Watch this. Nice close up here. A little drag and then boom, it's in the net. All right, another prospect that has made a lot of ground this year is Adam Fantilli. The University of Michigan standout has made a conversation for the number two pick of the draft. This World Juniors will give him a chance to show the hockey world how close the gap between him and Bedard is. And as you can see, the University of Michigan, 16 games, 11 goals, 15 assists, 26 points as a true freshman. Wow. He's got a lot of tools in his arsenal. And watch this one here. It's his passing ability. So he slips off, goes to the boards, and then this little backhand no-look pass in front. It's in the net. Yes, he just did that. So watch this. Reads the play. Look, he's got like two guys basically going to him. And then he just pops it out of front. And they bury it. Nice pass. Okay, Team USA, they're always uh, looking good at this tournament. And this year is no exception. And one of the players, the draft-eligible players that we're going to be watching for is Charlie Strammel. He's a power forward, has been honing his skills at the University of Wisconsin. And will play more of a depth role on Team USA. But we'll give him an opportunity to test his skills against the best U-20s in the world. A good World Juniors may help rise his stock. In 18 games, he has four goals, three assists, seven points. And you're going to see he's a big, powerful skater right here, arrows on him. He's going to pick up the puck in the Z zone, just blows around that D there, walks in two-on-one. I'll keep it. Thank you very much. It's in the net. So look at this. Head up, head up, and then boom, far side. Nice goal. What a release. All right, Gavin Brindley, another U of Michigan uh, forward he's a spark plug who hopes to raise his stock at the world juniors he too will play a death role on usa but given his defensive play we may see more of him on the ice and you're going to see the one thing that stands out is his skating arrows on him he's going to break through here the neutral zone pick it up nice little move at the blue line passes it over you'll see he'll get it back no look pass into the slot and they score so I like his play. He's a pretty cerebral player. Keeps the motor running the whole game and uh, can play defensive game as well. So nice little pass there and they score. Another player to look at who plays on the national development team is Trey Augustine. And look at these numbers as a goalie. 14 games played, 12 wins and zero losses and two ties. And also has a 2.10 goals against and a save percentage of 930. Wow. Okay, moving on to Team Sweden. And obviously, the big talk for Team Sweden is Leo Carlson. He could go anywhere from two, three, or four in this draft. He's a big, powerful, and smart player who plays in the top men's league in Sweden. Uh, he slowed down a bit in his scoring the last couple of weeks, but is still a threat every time he's on the ice. And the World Juniors will be a great chance for the six foot three Carlson to assert himself against his peers. In 25 games, he has 14 points. And the one thing you'll see, he's pretty smart. This one here, he'll pick it up up front. Doesn't rush it. Little backhand. Oh, nice goal. So you can see that he's got the quick mind and the nice hands to go along with it. I got a lot of clips in other videos, so check that out. But uh, this one here, like I said, doesn't rush it. 
Nice little move there, and then puts it upstairs. Nice goal. All right, the next player, one of my favorite prospects from this 2023 NHL draft, and his stock has been steadily rising since the start of the season, and his play has been doing the same. He's been showing more and more confidence in each SHL game coming into the World Juniors, and this tournament could be a stepping stone to make him a contender for top 10 and maybe even top five. Like the way he controls himself, the controls of puck and his stick handling and passing is unbelievable. So here we got a circle on him. So not an arrow. You're going to see he reads the play, breaks up, and he ends up in a two-on-one. Now he's a defense. And watch this soft little pass into open ice like wow. So he puts it where the player is going to be. Look at that. Nice little touch. And then they bury it. What a goal. What a pass. Axel Sandin Palika, watch out for him. Okay, so now we're looking at Team Czechia and Edward Chalet. So he's been in the top 10 since the beginning of the season, kind of in and out depending on who the analyst is. But he only has six points in 26 games in the top Czechia men's league. So had a pretty good uh, Halinka Gretzky and a U18s. So I want to see what he does at the World Juniors. He should see some good ice time in this tournament and maybe help elevate his stock once again. So here we have the circle on him one more time. And you're going to see that he breaks out here from the defensive zone, busts through the neutral zone, picks up a pass in, the, in right in front, and then tips it in. So nice goal there. Uh, shows a little bit of his speed and finding that uh, open ice. So nice goal there. All right, Slovakia, they have been producing some nice prospects the last couple of years, and this year is no exception. And the number one player out of Slovakia is Dalibor Dvorsky. Uh, he's been touted as a top 10 pick since the beginning of the season and has just been okay playing in Sweden this uh, year. But again, we have to remember he is playing in a men's league, and we will get to see how he compares against other teens at the World Juniors. So here we show, again, another circle on him. And you're going to see that he does a nice little one-touch pass here and then gets it back and just tees it up. Boom! It's in the net. What a goal. Pop the bottle right off. I love it. So again, a little slow motion here, a little one-time pass to the D, and then he gets ready and boom, it's in. What a goal. So can't wait to see him at the World Juniors. Oh, another Slovak, Alex Chernik. And Chernik plays a speed and agility game and is constantly moving when on the ice. He's recently spent more time in the second-tier Swedish men's league and has adjusted well against them. But watch his play here, arrows on him, and you're going to see he busts thin, puts a little move on the D there, keeps his feet moving, and then nice little pass over again. What a pass right into the open ice. So you'll see here, head up, watch. He's looking, he's looking, and he says, okay, I'm going to put it right there, and a nice little chip in. So nice goal there. Another player, Samuel Hanzik, he's playing in the dub, has 43 points in 31 games. Wow, big power forward, has some nice soft hands too and some pretty good speed. Watch this one here, arrows on him, and he is going to just bust up the ice here and put some pressure on this D, but watch, stays with him. Nice little pay, picks his pocket, comes in on a goalie, and boom, it's in the net. So again, like I said, you know, didn't do a uh, curl off or whatever when he was on the forecheck. He stayed with the D, picked his pocket, and then just buries it. Nice goal. Another angle here. Look at that. A little acceleration there. And a nice little soft hand. So Samuel Hanzik. Okay, moving on to Finland. And there's only one player, uh, draft eligible player on this team. And it is Lenny Heminau. And so he's playing in the league of the top league. Has 13 points in 28 games, four goals, nine assists. Not bad. He's a big, powerful kid. Watch this. Right off the draw. Pushes that guy out of the way. And then you know what he does? Goes to the open spot in front of the net and tips it in. Nice goal. So watch. Slow motion. Blocks that guy. Chips it back to the D. Heads to the front of the net. And a nice little tip in for the goal. So looking forward to see him in World Juniors play. All right, Team Austria. And one player that's making a name for himself is David Reinbacker. And he's a defenseman, a big defenseman, who has 14 points in 28 games in the top men's Swiss League. And lately he's been creeping in to the top two rounds of a lot of draft analysts. So here we have the circle on him. You're going to see he's going to take it for a skate. 
You can see he's got a little bit of an odd skating style, but he makes his way through here. And you'll see that he uh, chips it behind the net there, and eventually they score. But a nice little rush on his part. So we're going to watch it in slow motion again. So he takes it up here. A lot of ice, actually. But uh, makes a, a move at the uh, blue line there. And then he looks, sees his forward creeping in, and he tosses it right over there to him. And they end up getting a goal for it. So a few players, draft eligible players that we are looking forward to seeing at these World Juniors. And I'm excited to see how this tournament goes, especially, like I said, for the draft eligible players. It's going to be a fun, fun event. Starts on December 26th. So check it out. And as always, please subscribe and hit the like button to help the channel grow. Much appreciated. And have a good night. Cheers.